Hi, welcome to ABC Solutions. And today I'll talk about how to prepare CV for postdoctoral applications. I think even including me, I was initially a bit finding tricky to how to prepare the CV, how to put all the details in a compact manner. I think many of us also face the same issue. So let's try to fix this issue. So first I'll show my initial CV that I prepared during my applications. I'll just share my screen. So this was my CV, which I prepared initially. So you can see my name, current status, thesis details, supervisor, then master details, personal information, academic records. Then I gave my research interests. Then talked about, since I'm an experimentalist, so I talked about my experimental expertise, then show some research highlights, like what are the important stuff that I have solved, then publications, then conferences that I have attended. Then I talked about different uh, programming languages or software skills that I had, like MS Word, everything MS, and then here you can see it's a bit too much I have written. Then some mentoring skills, like I have mentored some PhD students and master students. And what sort of courses that I have studied during my PhD. And teaching experience that I had at IIT Kanpur. And at the end some awards and achievements and then the reference letters. So here you can see I put a lot of details, almost whatever I have, and that makes the CV four page long. And what do you think? Four page long CV is good enough? Like I put all the details here, uh, but people usually do not like such long CV because whoever will evaluate your CV or assess your CV, they don't have too much time to read each and every details and figure out which detail is important for them, etc. So, in one word, this sort of CV with so much of detail and so lengthy is a rejection. That's period. And now I will show what are the problems in that CV and how to address those issues. So, I'll just stop my screen and then share my presentation. So, since I'm talking about postdoc stuffs, so I would request you kindly visit my previous videos on how to prepare cover letter for postdoctoral applications and how to prepare your postdoctoral interviews. I have given the links in the details, so please visit share these videos, subscribe this channel such that this content can reach to wider audience. Now I will come back to the business. So here I basically wrote about the first page of that long CV. What are the content? So I have this uh, contact and information, then my current status, then my research thesis, master thesis, and they're all details as you can see here. Then I shared my personal information, then my grades and academics. Then I wrote in a descriptive manner my research interest in suppose in entanglement. The next page also the same thing. So research interest in a bit descriptive manner. Then in the second page, I discussed my expertise what are the highlights of my research, then publication. And here I want to mention that this publication came pretty late in this list, right? But the publication is the most important factor in this CV. So it should come pretty much upfront, right? And that we need to restructure. So please note this point. So in the next page, I just show what sort of conferences that I have attended, then talked about my research skills or general skills like these ones, 
with courses and i believe here whatever the skills that i wrote that this can be little bit uh this can be done in a little bit better manner i mean like here for example here i wrote masters and phd students instead of doing that we can i can write it or we can write it in your case as like i have mentored this many phd's or this many masters such that give a quantitative value instead of just saying something uh in a very broad manner or just for the sake of saying something we just said giving a number will always help you then shared my teaching experience and what sort of sub awards that i got or achievements in my academic career and finally uh some academic references so this is the whole content of that cv as you can see lot of informations so what's information are relevant yeah i should give affiliation and contact definitely then current status phd thesis personal information academic grades personal information is not required so current status research and this academic grades all i can make them in a compact manner or all i can put in a single place and cut a lot of unnecessary things then there is a research interest which was quite descriptive i think i wrote three points and in my cover letter also when i will apply or when i applied uh, i mentioned about my interest for that group why i am interested then i do not see much point to describe again research interest in a separate way so we can definitely get rid of the descriptive part research expertise highlights they do not deserve space in a two page cv so we can cut these things and all these things must show up in that publication because publication is the outcome of this phd in the, like this this is the one single sentence and based on that most of the people will evaluate so we need to highlight the publication part and it should come up front not like it is coming after a lot of things so this restructure is very important then conference workshop fine skills courses i don't think people are interested in like what sort of courses i have done during my phd i don't think at least in my context it is not necessary teaching experience in some cases are important in some cases not so it's up to you if you want you can keep it yeah and definitely awards and achievements which awards and achievements are relevant or important for your position please show them academic reference is also important so here as you can see we can do some modification some restructuring to prepare a better cv so again i'll just mention that cv was too long we'll cut some information and do some rearrangement so let's start that so this is my affiliation and contact here as you can see education and research experience so here i gave my phd details my current status is phd like this i was talking about when i was doing my phd then supervisor then thesis and my thesis was under submission when i prepared it so that's why it is submitted then masters details grade points i've mentioned as well as the project and i found in my case this project is not very important that's why i didn't highlight it then i just mentioned my bachelor grades and here i have mentioned different grades so this covers my uh research experience in academics completely next i just wrote instead of writing big descriptive points i just wrote the topics in which i am interested in the research interest 
then I bring my publication. So I cut down all this expertise, highlights, and just show up my publication. So here I have seven. So I just try to put it in the first page such that if someone opens my CV, they can, in, in the first page, they can see my publications and all of them are here. So that will be a bit convenient for the person who will assess me or evaluate me. They can very easily see this list and from that they can figure out like whether I'm suitable or not. Next is the conference and workshop. So here I put four conferences. I have attended a bit more than that, but I found these conferences are relevant. And in the other conference, I basically presented the same talk. So I thought like just to save the space, I didn't add uh, others. Next is skill. So here you can see in the research skill or I can say experimental skill, I just mentioned what are the experiments that I have done or what sort of skills that I learned. So I just wrote in a pointed manner, then programming, MATLAB, Python, Mathematica. In software earlier, you have seen it was a pretty long list with all MS Office stuff, Word, Excel, PowerPoint. So I just put it in a single word MS Office and wrote LaTeX, LabVIEW, what sort of softwares I have used. And in the mentoring case, I just mentioned I have done or I have worked with four undergrad projects or bachelor projects or master's projects. So just mention the number so that they can also get some idea with how many people I have worked during my PhD time. And then I put in a bit detailed manner my uh, academic achievements. So for example, I just mentioned the exact name of those exams as you can see here. So such that it looks a bit better. And lastly, the references or the referees who will give me the recommendation letter. Just I put their name in the CV. So here you can see I am able to fit all the details which are important and arrange them in two pages. And this is my entire CV in two page. I hope this presentation can help you to design or structure your own CV in a compact manner or the in a very objective manner. And if you find this video useful, please share, subscribe and thank you for your attention.